Thank you, Chair. Now I would like to invite uh, Honorable Trustee Member Shri Premji Nisa sir to say a few words. Hello. Respected Honorable Chief Guest, Ravikant, Dr. Ravikant Ji, our respected principal, Dr. Aruna, our respected principal, administrators of secondary section, she did not come today, yeah, okay. Seema Ji, respected our Jayawadne Madam, respected yourself, and my honorable trustee, Sri Nirmal Bhai Chadwa. Dear teachers sitting across the right side and also on the left side, respected parents also present here to grace the occasion. Our teaching, non-teaching staff as well as the students sitting right across in front of us. Today we are celebrating the 74th Republic Day. It's a great day and as our chief guest sir told us that whenever we are celebrating this day, we have to remember the people who have sacrificed to bring us to this day. It's the people who have fought for independence and freed the company from country from the foreign rule. And thereafter, the last 74 years, ever since independence, till today, there has been a lot of progress in the country that has been brought in by the people who are elected, represented by the people of this country. The constitution of India which was formed to give is a principle of, there is a principle of liberty, equality and fraternity. So equal right has been bestowed to everybody in this country through this constitution and an equal chance has been given to everybody to work towards their own growth as well as the growth of this of our nation. The spirit of nationalism has to be there in each one of us at every stage of our life. Whatever we do, however we do, we have to always think of our nation first and then our own selfish goal. It's very important. We as Bhavana Trust, our founder trustees, let's see Kesarji Bhai, let's see Gagu Bhai, let's see Pravin Chandra Dwarka Das Dalal and our other trustees, Sri M.K. Nisar Sai, they have sacrificed a lot to establish this Bhavana Trust and the institutes, institutions that are under this banner. You know. We started in 19, 19, 1973, we started this Bhavana Trust and took over the management of the school from Sarodaya Samaj. It was a Gujarati medium which we started, but today we have grown to a level where we have English medium. Eventually, as more and more students wanted to get into English medium, now, Bhavna Trust decided to, you know, encourage more English medium schools in our institute, you know. That's how gradually, you know, some of the, our Gujarati medium schools had to be closed down. As for the time that were required, we did get into the English medium school. As time passed, we, get, we got into the, our uh, Gujarati, our uh, college, Today we are uh, having a junior college, senior college and also we have, we have got now a uh, lot of scope for the students of this institute 
for the students of our schools also to get admission in the colleges, you know. We have today, I have witnessed since 1974, lot of occasions of 15th August or 26th January celebrations. But today's incident, today's celebration was something unique. For the first time, I have seen that a person of very high caliber, like Dr. Ravi Khan from the University of Bombay, and a highly educated person, when I heard today the uh, CV, the details about him, I was amazed. I mean, at this age, he is still young, but in such a short time, he has acquired such a great knowledge, such a great, and he is still pursuing learning. So learning is continuous. This is one message which I would like we as students together, you know, that it is to, 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 you know, to first of all to become together a deed, to do, you know, some research, to do some innovation and excel in that and win an award of a doctorate is not very easy. That's the first thing. He has not only got doctorate in his subject, in his field, but thereafter also continued to do further studies and be connected with the, with the education field right through. I mean, it's a great thing. Uh, the amount of information that was read out today, I was literally amazed. He have been, to me it appears like day, night, he is studying, he is studying, keeping on, you know, upgrading his knowledge and uh, uh, he is still a student all through. That is what I can, I can say that. It, uh, we, and we are, that's what he says to me, that we are always students and we have to be. So, so, we have to learn from this that if he at this age is still studying, wanting to still acquire many more laurels in his career and do good for the, and at the end, he is contributing to the country also. How? He is in a University of Bombay, he is connected with colleges, he, he is the person who is part of the new education system which is being now developed by our government. So he is instrumental even in bringing in the new systems of education. He is going to do that. So such a great honor has been bestowed by, by the government on him also to take up this additional responsibility. Now, this is a message to us that we as students, as we should make the best use of this time and, you know, get away from this, you know, spend least time on this, spend more time on meeting your uh, parents, on interacting with your teachers, on I and interacting with your friends, on discussing more, reading more books. You must be reading a lot. We got a beautiful library which has been upgraded recently by Dr. Aruna. So I want you to make use of that, read the literature over there, enhance our knowledge. During our good old days, I used to spend a lot of time in my college library. Instead of going to cinemas and theatres, I used to spend more time in uh, college library and acquire more knowledge. So that is what you need to do. I, I am very sorry. I, I just want to make a small note that three days back I was interviewing a person for the post of a supervisor in a production hall. I just asked them to, you know, to solve some algebraic algebra which you have been learnt in 8th and 9th standard. X and Y, you got two unknown factors and you have to determine the value of X and Y. Two equations were given, but those people who were, they were masters in science, MSc, I am telling you, but they were not able to solve that algebraic uh, question. If you ask them the relation of centigrade and Fahrenheit, what is the relation between centigrade and Fahrenheit? They are not able to say. The basics which are taught to us in this school are forgotten as you grow older. My message to you, boys and girls, is that please, you must study hard. Please don't study only for examination passing. You study so that you remember it again and again and again so that you don't forget it ever. Job up sikhoge, wo kabni bhulna hai apko. School me job sikhoge, wo most important hai. It is not that you have to forget it later on. No. Please remember that, you know. So, please. Make the best use of your time, devote.
Today, when, I, when we hear the children uh, speaking, speeches, songs, marvelous, excellent. The, in a very short time, I think last ten, eight or ten days, Jal have done the preparation, have done very good. Excellent. The confidence with which Jal has spoken is marvelous. I am really thankful to the teachers for having put, put their time and efforts to develop them and bring them up to the stage. Good. Please give a good clap to teachers also. And clap to all the all your colleagues and friends who have participated this time. We want more participation. We want more uh, uh, you know, uh, children to develop their skills and talents. You know. At the end of the day, it's not only that you have to be good in academics, you have to be good in also other areas. Like if you are good in uh, the arts, skills, talking, uh, drawing, in speeches, you will be benefited by that. Each and every skill helps you in life. Nothing goes waste, let me tell you. Nothing goes waste, you know. So, uh, with that, I, am, I, I would not like to take much time today. I would just like to once again thank Dr. Vikanji for having come over here today, presided over our function, and given us a lot of advice to us and our students for the own benefit in future. You, we, I, I like the nationalistic spirit which he has got even till today, and the way he talked to us, and while the children were speaking, he was humming the songs. So uh, he, he knew each and every song that was being sung. It's a great thing, I'll tell you. That's, that shows that the person is truly national. National spirit is done in him. Dr. Avi Ganji, we are learning a lot from you even today. Thank you so much. And uh, with these few words, I would like to thank everybody of you who have made this day a great day, a great celebration. We'll, we'll, we will bend upon sir, we will look upon him for more advice for improving our educational standard and the developing the uh, our school's children to a level that they really are happy themselves and they contribute to the country at the end in a great way, you know. Thank you so much. I would like to say that in coming years we would, we would see our students at national level. They are representing schools at national level. So that I promise you, you will get the guidance where your students and even teachers, there is a faculty and student exchange program. Even we can do that where our faculties and students can go abroad and they can have an exchange program. That we can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your motivational words, not only for students, but also for the teachers, as always. And definitely, we'll try to implement the same in our lives 